Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are good. I haven't posted anything beauty related in a very long time and there's a reason for that. Um, I've been feeling like uninspired to post beauty content to be honest with you guys and a lot of people that are in my circle, a lot of people that I also watch that are beauty YouTubers have also not been posting and they've moved most of their beauty content to Instagram and have been posting more vlogs because they said that um, viewership for beauty content beauty content has dropped so that sort of made me to question whether people are still interested in beauty content or not are people still learning stuff do people enjoy makeup tutorials i know people love vlogs and stuff but i just don't know if makeup tutorials are still relevant if i may say so yeah i'm still in the middle of that whole situation but i decided to just come here and post something and I created this look so this tutorial today is not really about this look it's a tutorial where I'm gonna share with you the best tips that I have learned that I have tried that have completely changed my makeup game like these tips will change your life literally you'll get perfect makeup all the time if you apply them you can obviously twitch them and switch them up depending on your preference but for me they give me a face like this all the time every day all day if you're interested to learn how to up your game when it comes to makeup just stay tuned um i hope you are subscribed if you haven't subscribed subscribe now if you don't follow me on instagram follow me now pause this video and go follow me and also comment down below and like this video until next time from me to you guys with love um so the first thing that i'm going to start with is my brows the one thing that i've learned when it comes to my brows is that you need a very sharp pencil all the time like make sure that you sharpen your pencil all the time that is how you get a very nice precision secondly you want to use as little product as possible i'm gonna show you what i mean by that so i'm going to just you see that's just one line especially if you're someone like me who has their own natural brows that are quite full if you don't have fuller um, brows you'll have to obviously use more product but because i have fuller brows i can use as little product as possible So once I've done that, I'm just going to brush out the product to diffuse it and to this gives me a more natural looking brow. You almost want your brow to look like it doesn't have any product there. And then the other thing that I've learned is that when shaping or outlining your eyebrows, you want to use a concealer brush, but you want a flat concealer brush. So what I usually do is that I will take my brush and sort of pinch it like this. This gives me this flat shape that gives me more precision. So this is how you get a precise and natural looking eyebrow. I'm gonna go and do the other eyebrow off camera and then I'll come back to you guys. Um, another thing that I learned quite early in this whole makeup thing is that 
priming is priming will fix your life i'm going to use this catrice cosmetics sensational primer um like nikki tutorial says not not to, not priming not to prime is a crime so priming is a must it closes off all your pores it makes your makeup your foundation particularly apply very nicely so you need to prime at all times i love this primer can we see how shiny and glowy my face is it looks so nice even after apply makeup it looks beautiful and for my foundation today i'm going to be using the yadley stay fast foundation in the shade md 1c i'm going to mix it with my maybelline um, super stay foundation in the shade 60 caramel um, because the yadley is a bit dark for me so i love mixing the two to get a perfect shade so another thing that i learned that has saved my makeup game using a blender to do all your makeup steps like when it comes to your face concealer foundation contour using one sponge to do all of that gives you a more nice and blended finish and i'll show you why i say that but trust me do that and you will not regret I'm looking here guys, I'm looking at my mirror because that's where it's at. And since cutting my hair, I prefer applying most of the foundation here on the lower part of my face and as little foundation as I possibly can on my forehead because I find that if I apply a lot of foundation on my forehead to the contrast between my hair um, a bit of hair that I have and the foundation is quite a lot and it seems like I'm wearing a lot of makeup but if I apply little product to them it looks very nice and this sponge that I'm using is damp you always want to make sure that you put your sponge under running water for some time and then you drain all the water out before using it because if you use a dry sponge trust me your makeup is going to look wretched like it's going to be a mess can you see the glow that is as a result of that underneath primer that I put on it's actually amazing So I make sure to blend your foundation down your neck. So at this point, my foundation looks flawless already. It looks, it's perfect basically. What I'm going to do now is highlight and contour. And this is very important, especially in this video. One trick that I've learned when it comes to contouring, because I'm gonna start, I'm gonna highlight, but wait for that to dry and contour my face. One thing that I've learned when it comes to contouring is that use a foundation shade. Using a foundation to contour your face, a darker foundation to contour your face, gives you a more skin-like um, finish. Your contour looks a bit it's, it's flawless man like it blends nicely into your skin because generally foundations blend nicer than concealers on your skin so that's what i have been doing in the past couple of weeks and i've been loving it so for concealer i'm gonna use this um l'oreal infallible concealer in the shade caramel and then i'm going to also be using the fawn concealer in the the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Fawn. Mixing those two is my favorite thing to do because this gives me a bit of brightness and this just looks nice on the skin. And then another trick that I've learned is that bring your concealer a bit in to your nose. That sort of does a reverse contouring so before you contour your nose bringing your concealer a bit in gives your nose a more snatched look so like this and then you can drag that out so with this because it's a bit bright and full coverage i'm going to be using one stroke only
or to contour my face i'm taking this nyx can't stop one stop foundation in the shade mocha and then i'm going to use that to contour my face and to contour i just use another side because this side i was using foundation to contour i'll use this side so with contouring the one thing that i've learned is that you always blend up so you blend it into your skin but sort of using tapping motions that take the product a bit high to lift your cheeks and to give you a more slimmer effect so you blend your contour up as though you want it to meet with your concealer because all the products that you put on your face must communicate okay they must meet somewhere must make sense And then to contour my nose, I'm going to take what's left of that contour shade and then I'm going to be using this sharp end of my sponge to just shape my nose. And then you need to contour right into where your eyebrows is using those tapping motions. The longer you leave your concealer on your face, the more coverage you get. So I've left this concealer for a couple of minutes now. So I'm taking the side where I was using my foundation to blend out the concealer. And to blend out your concealer, you need to tap it into your skin very lightly because when you are using a sponge, the concealer tends to, um, tends to disappear if you are going to be harsh. So you tap it very lightly, especially when you get to your under eyes. As you can see, I'm tapping it into that contour as well to make sure that there aren't any harsh lines. And I'm also putting my concealer in on my eyelid to prep for eyeshadow. Looking up like this allows you to get into the very thin part under your eye so that there aren't any creases there because this part tends to crease quite a lot so you want to look up and push that concealer into your skin and then you take the excess concealer and just push it here put it here under the contour to define that part quite a bit once you've done that what i've learned and i've started doing is i go with the balm of my sponge so this part and i just blend everything out making sure that the concealer the the highlighting concealer and the contour concealer meet nicely and there aren't any harsh lines And then now I'm taking my Yardley loose powder. It's a translucent powder. And then I'm going to use that to set all the places where I've applied my highlighter. So I take it on the balm of my sponge again. I look up and then I just push the product in like so. Up, and then I just push the product in now you've used all the product that's there but this part is still quite dry you can use it to set the rest of your face what I've really been enjoying is using a darker powder as well to set all the places where I've contoured. So as you can see, I'm blending this up as I did with the contour. And then I blend it into my forehead to reduce that contrast that I was talking about.
can you see how slimmer my face looks now like it really does a huge difference using powder to contour your face or to set your contour and then now i use an angled brush like this to contour my nose and when you contour your nose you want to focus first on these parts and blend them up and then take it down if you snatch this part then your nose will just look slimmer now there's foundation all over this sponge and concealer and all the good stuff so you want to take this sponge to just blend out your nose contour and then now i'm going to apply a bit of eyeshadow not a lot i really want a simple look today just a bit of eyeshadow and then i'll come back to do the rest of my face now i'm going into my beauty treat palette and i'm going and i'm going to use this pink shade to just apply as blush um now when it comes to a blush i used to only apply it here but i've learned that applying it all the way into your contour going a bit up and elevating it gives you a very nice um look a more blushy look So I take it all the way up like this. And now because I've applied all the powder products, I'm going to then set the rest of my face with this um, Maybelline Lasting Fix Spray. And then I take my sponge to just let that settle in. And then to highlight my face, I'm going back into the Julia's Place palette. I'm going to use this. Um, another thing that I've learned, um, I'm going to be using this shade called Odogu. Another thing that I've learned is that using little product to highlight your face actually gives you the most beautiful glow than if you use like a lot of highlighter. So I just tap my brush like so. Then I just highlight my face. And then for mascara, I'm going to use my Essence Mascara. I'm not sure if I want to wear lashes today. I feel like I don't want to wear lashes. But at the same time, I feel like if I don't wear them, I'm going to regret. So I'll just see. So when applying mascara, in order for it not to smudge, you want to put your mirror at the bottom, more like here. And then you want to look down so that you can see clearly what's happening and if it happens that you mess up like you spill a bit of mascara here just wait don't worry about it wait for it to dry and then just remove it with an earbud or something like that it will fall off quite easy um now i'm gonna do my lips i think i'm not wearing lashes today i don't know what do you guys think lashes or no lashes uh, i'm gonna do my lips uh and for this look because it's quite simple i'm going for a simple lip i'm thinking a nude but i want to do nude matte lip i'm not sure let's see something with this wet 
Western world nude but it's quite it's quite dark and then there's this nude from Maybelline which I think I'm gonna do because I know it's super matte so that's what I'm going to go for So this is the look guys and I feel like if I don't wear lashes I'd really be playing myself because this look is a look. I'm gonna go on pop on my lashes and then come back to show you guys the final look. And this guys is the final look from me. I love how it came out. Let me know what you think about this look down below. Um, I decided to put on lashes and I don't regret my decision. I feel like they make sense, you know, they make sense. I went with a nude lip that sort of meshes my, um, my blush. So this is the final look guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Give it a big thumbs up. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Until next time, from me to you guys with love. Mm -hmm. Thank you.